it's 2019. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Fifty-two years ago, I prematurely came out of my mother's vagina. Two pounds, seven ounces. A number drilled into my head from when I was very young. Born cross-eyed. Yes. Those were the defining moments of my life. The defining moments. But I made a name for myself, finally. Out of mommy's basement, away from morbid obesity, no longer a fat bastard virgin. Yes, my friends, four children and a Chinese wife later. Finally, I've made something of myself. Fifty-two years. Hmm. But I have more hair than some guys who were twenty years younger. So there. Um, so there. Even though I lost some hair than compared to the past. And you can only tell that I have gray hair if I let the beard grow out. So there. I've still got it. Hmm. Seem to have reached a dead end with my walking. Waiting for the grocery store to open. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna work on that red pilling t-shirt. Or I thought of a Trump t-shirt. Um. That would say something like uh, the orange-haired clown and then have a Trump clown, Trump uh, clown orange, orange hair picture. Uh, blocked rape enabler Hillary. I love orange haired clowns. I love orange haired clowns that block a rape enabling pay to play harlot. We need more such orange-haired clowns in the world, my friends. Don't look an orange-haired clown in the mouth. <clears throat> One who advocates for the working class values of my Democrat father. What's my New Year's, what's my birthday message? My birthday message is, don't allow your life to be hijacked by 
lies from the ultra left. Pragmatic red pilled social conservatism and social conservatism in general has evolved value. Evolved morals are couched within the religious contexts. Even Christopher Hitchens realized that the most important thing we do is have children. Christopher Hitchens also talked about how uh, a baby growing inside of a woman is not just a, merely a clump of cells equivalent to a fly. No. That's an inaccurate and amoral uh, assessment. Why isn't everything up for grabs when there's no God around? Because humans are evolved moral animals. Yes, and so uh, anyway, um, a lot of my friends, well, some of them, especially the more, uh, shall we say, antisocial types, they mostly didn't have kids. Why is that? Well, because a lot of the women around were having their own brains hijacked by dumb shit feminism especially, well, third-wave feminism now. But what is feminism? Well, you might think it means allowing women to have voting and equal pay for equal work. And there is equal pay for equal work. But uh, no, feminism just means more about denialism regarding human nature, about how humans are a sexually dimorphic species. Sexually dim sexual not sexual monomorphism, uh, not sexual non-binaryism, sexual, sexually binary, sexually dimorphic, biological fact, versus leftist, culturally Marxist, postmodernist, dumb shittery. So... Uh, the hard nut to crack for the ex-traditional -re religionist with a chip on his shoulder regarding being lied to by charismatic charlatans. <sighs> yep. That's why the abusers who head up some religion, traditional religions, they essentially close the gates of heaven. What are the gates of heaven? They are uh, realizing your true potential as an emergent property sexual animal. How can you realize your potential as your top potential as an emergent property sexual animal? Hmm? How? Well, one way not to do it is to cut yourself off from inherent reproduction. So taking Mar racist eugenicist Margaret Sanger's birth control pill is a bad course of action. And I realize that now that we have the choice, I think we should put more heavy weighting against not choosing as much as possible. Why? Because evolution is smarter than you are. Biatch. Why is evolution smarter than you are? It's even smarter than dumb shit so atheist leftists. Well, because that's the way evolution works. Evolution selects for that the choices which are most successful uh, continuance-wise. What's the value of continuance? Well, that's kind of a dumb shit question if you're uh, an animal that is a continuing type of animal. If you'd rather not continue, then why bother existing in the first place? Well, it's kind of noisy here near the freeway. Too noisy. I don't want to be have a noisy commentary on my birthday. I'm a birthday boy, a birthday man. Yes, that's right. Hmm, I have to walk this way more near the 
Dick's Sporting Goods where they're checking in the exercise machines. <clears throat> they're checking in the exercise machines to sell. Maybe I should buy an elliptical. That might be good. <clears throat> anyway, that's my message. Don't let your life be screwed up by denialisms from the cultural left. Yes, the cultural right is abusive in some respects, but on the other hand, the things they advocate for can help you live a happy life. Not because their gods are literally, literally real, but because evolution is operating within that context. What's the value of evolution? Well, it can help you live a happier life because it naturally hones the better and shapes the more successful choices. Okay, is that too fucking complicated to wrap your little brain around? Well, I can help you. I'll help you wrap your brain around the red pill truth. Okay, have fun. And you'll have the most fun by having more kids. And a service-oriented wife. If you're from America, if you can't find someone from America who's, because most of them are brainwashed, then go to China. All right.